The early Nazarenes generated a continual stream of social ministry. This ministry really flowed from their doctrine of entire sanctification. John Goodwin, who was the church's sixth general superintendent, wrote these words in 1920. Pure religion always has and always will have its two sides, purity and service. To neglect service and the welfare of others is to demonstrate a lack of purity. Holiness people should be preeminent in social service. This is what chiefly characterized the early church, their untiring service to bless their fellows and care for their widows and fatherless children. There are three basic types of social ministry that the early Nazarenes generated. The first was orphans, care for orphans. The second was maternity homes for unwed mothers. And the third was urban rescue missions that dealt with transients. There were a number of orphanages in early Nazarene life. Maddie Mallory established the Oklahoma Orphanage early in the new century, and she founded an extension orphanage in Pilot Point, Texas in 1902. But there were also individuals who started orphanages on their own initiatives. Evangelist Oscar Hudson started an orphanage at Lamasco, Texas, and he and his wife cared for orphans for seven or eight years. Later, when they felt that they could not do this anymore, they moved to Penile, Texas. They placed the orphans they had cared for in the Penile Orphans Home, and they traveled on behalf of that orphanage's raising money to support it. Another great example is Santos Elizondo. Sister Santos started the Nazarene work in El Paso, Texas among the Mexican people. A few years later, she crossed the border into Juarez and founded the First Church of the Nazarene there. She developed an orphanage in Juarez soon after she started the church. And by the time she died, some 25 years later, she was caring for up to 40 orphans.